Amen. If you're hearing briefly is hinder me not. Amen. Amen. Somebody say hinder me not. Hinder me not. Look at somebody with that face that you say when you mean something. And tell them, hinder me not. Hinder me not. All right. Amen. That's, that's the way you do that. Thank you, Lord. Amen. A young fellow wanted to be a star journalist, but he lived in a small town where there was not much possibility for him to be so. Mm -hmm. So one day, the dam upstream from the town broke and the entire town was flooded. Well, the young fellow saw a perfect opportunity for a story. So he got in a rowboat and headed out to look for the story. And in his quest, he found a lady that was sitting on her rooftop. So he tied up the boat and told her what he was after. And as they were talking, they both watched as various items began to float by. And the young fellow says, now, there's the story. Well, the woman says, nah, that's no story. Well, finally, the young fellow noticed a very strange sight. He saw a hat float by and then do a 180 degree turn, and then it would go upstream a ways, and do another 180 degree turn, and come back. And this kept happening repeatedly. So the fella says to himself, now there's a story. Mm -hmm. But the woman replies, oh no, that's not a story. That's just my husband, Hayford. He said that he was going to mow the lawn come hell or high water. <laughs> I'm sure that all of us at one time or another in our life experience have encountered obstacles. Obstacles are hindering forces that appear to us to be designed to hinder us. And they hinder us from uh, achieving or accomplishing anything or even reaching a destination. Yes. The infamous automobile mogul Henry Ford described obstacles as frightful things mm -hmm. that you see when you take your eyes off your goals. I have found in my life experience that the very presence of an obstacle can be a hindering force. Yes. Yes. Why? Because it produces a fear or an apprehension in you that will either cause you to slow down your progress or will ultimately paralyze you altogether. Yes. But one thing can be sure of obstacles if they are present. The Bible, the, I'm sorry, not the Bible. I don't want to put it in the Bible. It ain't in the Bible. <laughs> Hallelujah. A man by the name Frank A. Clark said, if you find a path with no obstacles, it probably doesn't lead anywhere. Uh, People need to understand that at one point or another, there's going to be an obstacle. Yes. Yes. We might as well grow up and accept the fact that at some point in time, yes. you're going to run into an obstacle. Yes. And I don't know what it is each time we get to that place or point where an obstacle pops up, we act as if we have never experienced an obstacle before. Now, amen, the thing that I find among us is that we have bad memory. Because if we would remember that we have had obstacles before. Yes. Tell somebody, I've had obstacles before. Had obstacles before. We've had obstacles yes. before. Yes. And if you did not pay attention to the fact that you are now here uh, and not there. Yes. So obviously, somebody say obviously, obviously. the obstacle was not successful yes. in hindering you from getting yes. where you are today. Now somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So if you were successful then, guess what? You can be successful now. Consider when we face obstacles 
to change our perspective. Yes. Yes. Amen. It's yeah. not the fact of the obstacle, but it's how you perceive it. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. come on now. Yes. And how you perceive it will, amen, determine whether it becomes a blockage to yes. you or a stepping stone yes. for you. Yes. Yes. Now somebody tell the Lord, say, yes. oh, hallelujah. Yes. I looked at that word hinder, amen, and hinder is defined in my old trusty Merriam-Webster dictionary oh, wow. <laughs> to make slow or difficult mm -hmm. the progress of, to delay, mm -hmm. to impede, mm -hmm. or prevent action. Mm -hmm. I looked at Collins' dictionary and it tells us simply, if something hinders you, it makes it more difficult for you to do something or to make progress. Mm -hmm. amen. amen. Now, now, amen. Uh, uh, this little verse in Romans right. chapter 8. Uh -huh. Y'all might know it. Yes, yes. Verse 28. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, some, somebody might know uh -huh. that verse. Uh -huh. and, and, and it goes something like this. And we know. And we know. Uh, Y'all not going to help me. <laughs> What, what what we know we know that all oh, oh, oh come on now come on now that's the obstacles that's the hindrances yes. that's the blockages yes. that's all those and we know that all oh, what do they do they work together for the good oh come on now hallelujah to them that love God and are the what call according to his what and praise him. So whereas you encounter various types of hindrances, amen, know that the end of it will not end, hallelujah, with you being unsuccessful. It will not end with you being productive. Mm -hmm. It will not end with you being unfruitful. Uh -huh. It may slow you down yes, yes. a bit, yes. but it will only slow me down. It will not stop me. Yes. Because the God that I serve, yes. hallelujah, yes. has already determined, uh -huh. hallelujah, my end yes. before yes. I even began. Yes. And it was already in the be successful in my, in, in my endeavor. So in spite of who I encounter, what I encounter, because you know some people think they're God. Y'all don't know those kind of folks. They, they, they believe, I believe, that they are God. And that they have a, a power and authority Hallelujah to, amen, stop you or block you yes. from getting in particular places. Yes. Amen. I, I, I've had that experience in my life. Hallelujah. A few times. Somebody say a few times. A few times. I, had, I had a few times. Hallelujah. Where I saw, amen, others, amen, that were promoted mm -hmm. on the left of me mm -hmm. and on the right of mm -hmm. me. In the front of me, behind me. And there were those, amen, that had came after me. Yes. Hallelujah. And only had been there a minute. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And were promoted yes. before me. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. When others would decide that they would be unfaithful and do everything that they want to do and show up when they decided yes. they would like to. Yes. Amen. They were promoted, and I was the one that was faithful, that was there in the sunshine and the rain, through sickness and through pain, and they promoted them. Lord have mercy. But now, let me tell you the other part of that story. Hallelujah. But while I was turned down flatly, 
hallelujah, for promotion, uh -huh. I had to come to the understanding uh -huh. that promotion don't come from the east uh -huh. or from the west. No, 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 no. Uh -huh. But promotion comes from the Lord. Uh -huh. oh, come on now. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. and, 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 and when the Lord was ready, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. that I had to wait on the timing of God and not be caught up in who and what and where. Oh, my God. But I had a particular time that had been assigned to me, and that set time was the time for me to be promoted, and nobody could hinder it. sometimes make the same ones that told you no turn around and tell you yes. Hallelujah. I had the superiors to tell me flatly no in my face. Hallelujah. And I said, fine. I'm good. I said, you, you don't ever have to do it. And I just wasn't saying that because you know some of y'all say stuff just to be saying. Y'all not going to help me. Hallelujah. I didn't just say it just to say it. Hallelujah. But I said it because I meant it. Because I recognized that I could be whoever I was whether you attach another title to it or not. I was who I was. And then what, what happened? What happened? Somebody asked me what happened. Somebody asked me what happened. Well, what happened was Chance. 
obstacles don't stand a chance. Because even as I speak the word of God in your hearing, you are being pumped up with grace right now. Come out and say grace. Grace. See, we often... Amen. Consider grace only from one aspect or one perspective. Right. Right. And that is, mm-hmm. amen, that grace is the unmerited yeah. favor right. Right. of God right. to man. Mm-hmm. And guess what? That's right. right. Mm-hmm. It is the unmerited mm-hmm. favor yeah. of God to man. Mm-hmm. But how about this? Everything that God does for us mm-hmm. is unmerited. Yeah. Yeah. We don't deserve it. Yeah. We have not earned it. Oh. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. So grace, amen, has to be a little more than just the unmerited yeah. favor yeah. of God to man. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. But 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 grace, hallelujah, if I may offer this definition, amen, that grace is the empowering presence of God. First of all, the empowering presence of God that enables me to be what I was created to be and do what I was called to do. How about that? Is that all right? Whenever you see grace, you see power. Oh, I wish I had it. Hallelujah. You never see grace without power. Uh-huh. And I believe that the writer, John Newton of Amazing Grace, uh-huh. had tapped into that revelation. Uh-huh. Because did you notice the, the words that he used in his stances? Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. For instance, through many dangers. Yeah. Oh, come on now. Yeah. Tall. Yeah. That's yeah. 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 I yeah. have all. But what did he say after that? Twas grace. Uh, come on now. How did that brought, brought me? Uh, how did that brought the empowering presence of God yes. brought me safe, safe thus far? Uh, <laughs> Glory to God. Yes. Uh, uh, what's that verse, Sister Fountain? We say twas grace. Hallelujah. That taught. Me. My heart to fear. Yeah. And grace my fear. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, you see, you see, grace being an empowering presence. Hallelujah. In our lives. Amen. So receive the grace of God in you right now. Because you Hallelujah, are going to be up against some more obstacles, some more hindrances, some things that are designed to stop and block and ultimately end you all together. However, you have the grace. Will you brag to a couple of folks and say, I got the grace, I got the grace. So you have to know what it is that you have on the inside. So when the hindrances appear, oh my God, hallelujah, you're not being a wimp, hallelujah, shaking like a reed in the wind, but you're standing flat feet, you're squaring your shoulders, you're looking right in the face. Somebody, get out of my face. Oh, no. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I don't know why y'all had to. Get out of my face. Oh, come on here. Well, in that same vein, talk to the hindrance. See, a lot of times we, we don't ever open our mouth. When we open our mouth, it's at the wrong time. And we're saying the wrong thing. Yeah. How many you speak with four tongues? I wish I had help. But if you believe, Hallelujah, what it is that you believe yeah. and you know what you have, yeah. you stand flat footed yeah. and look the thing in the face yeah. and speak the word of God. Yeah. 
Now, I'm not going home crying. You don't go crying. I'm the victorious one. I wish I had help. Because, see, I'm pumped up with the grace of God. My position is victorious. I can't be nothing else but victorious. I can't even fake defeat. Because victory is my position. I wish I had help. I've already been positioned in the place yeah. of victory. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Right. Come on. How do you know that? <laughs> well, I'll tell you how I know. Hallelujah, because the word tells me. Yeah. I said the word tells me. Yeah. Word, the word. God. Somebody say, help me say God. 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 Always God. causes me. Well, See, I wish I had thought oh, more good. Yeah. Causes me. To triumph. Yeah. 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 If I am looking like I'm Come on now. not in a victorious Three. position, uh, yeah. I don't have to worry. That's right. All I have to do is rest in the Lord. Yeah. Wait patiently yeah. for him. Yeah. Because somehow, somehow. some way, yeah. he going to cause me yeah. to triumph. To try, That's right. That's right. I am the winner. Yeah. I'm not going right. to be the winner. Right. I yeah. am the winner yeah. because Jesus already won. Yeah. So greater, greater. is He, he is yes. that is in me. me. Yes. Thank you, sir. Yes. Then. He, my opposition, my opposition, hallelujah, that he that is in the world, that's my position, that's my position, hallelujah, I have that position, and it doesn't even look, hallelujah, doesn't have to look like it. I am victorious because it's not in the Lord. Right. It's yeah. in the being. Yeah. You have to be who you are. Yeah. Oh, I wish I had a couple. There's a whole lot of folks talking stuff. Yeah. But you need to start being yeah. who you are. Yeah. Stand in who you are. Yeah. And stop yeah. being a wimp yeah. because you are ashamed yeah. to the body of Christ. Yeah. You make us look bad because you represent us. Hallelujah. You make us look bad. Hallelujah. How can anybody want what we have? And they looking at you shaking. You have an attitude. You are disobedient. You are rebellious. You are inconsistent. You are a liar. Oh, and I'm crying right here. Y'all want to shout now? Y'all want to shout now? You got all this, all this stuff going on. Name in the name of Christ. You so thin-skinned. Oh, my God. Can't nobody say nothing to you. You got to be careful. You got to walk on cross Lord have mercy. I don't know about anybody else, but you get tired. Hallelujah. Dealing with folk like that. So, so somebody somewhere need to grow up. Now see, y'all didn't ask him right. See, you gotta ask him. You know, you gotta ask him. Please grow up. Please grow up. Yes. Jesus. Oh my God. Because what that suggests is that you have been a baby for a while. A long time. And you are now annoying. Oh, my God. 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 O
<laughs> Why the church can't, can't do this? Why we can't accomplish that? Why? You know, we can't. Because <laughs> you won't grow up, baby. Yeah. And your mind is still in a box. Jesus. <laughs> and you can put tape on the box or something. Only because you act like you don't want to come out the box. Right. <laughs> you want to stay in your little box. Hallelujah. And God said that he had provided better things for you. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm trying to understand. If he's providing better, why are you in the box? Yeah. How are you going to get to the better in the box? Yeah. Get up out of the box. Yeah. Yeah. You need space to grow. Space to expand. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So when your mindset is where it's supposed to be, right. Right. hallelujah. Amen. Then you know already Amen. being mature. Right. Being mature. Somebody say being mature. Yeah. Being mature. Yeah. And then you know being mature. Yeah. Amen. Okay, y'all. We have to now pray mm -hmm. against the day yeah. when the hindrance comes. Yeah. Amen. 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 Uh oh, come on. Amen. Now see the reason why we don't come up with that. Because we ain't praying in the first place. Mm -hmm. So therefore, you know, them Billy really Mount prayers, prayers that we be praying, them selfish stuff, you know, that we be praying about us and it's for and no more. You, 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 oh, come on now. Y'all ain't going to help me. Hallelujah. But, no, no, no. But I'm talking about, but we're really, amen, serious. And, and we really care about our ministry. Hallelujah. And we want to see God do some things. Hallelujah. Because we know he can. We know he can. Anybody know he can? Is there anybody that knows he can? Because I know he can. Hallelujah. Then I appeal to the God that can. Because as a matter of fact, not only can he do that, but the Bible says. Hallelujah. Can I say what the Bible says? Can I tell you what the Bible says? In that rendering, right. hallelujah, Jesus. the Greek is imagined. Uh -huh. right. Lord, have mercy. How far can your imagination go? Hallelujah. And if I expand my imagination, I have now given God.